Yes, this is yet another pen plotter using a couple of DVD drives and a servo. But wait, don't click away! There's something different here. So, these pen plotters are really good at drawing lines. They can draw outlines of images, or you can fill in some solid colors with, you know, by drawing lines over and over. Grayscale isn't really an option, but if you look at how artists draw grayscale using a ballpoint pen, they use crosshatching. So, why can't a pen plotter use crosshatching? It's a really simple thing to do. Here's a real basic description of what I'm doing. So, take an image, convert it to grayscale. Choose a threshold, an angle for the lines, and a spacing between the lines. Then move along the pixels in that line. If it goes above a threshold, start the line. When it drops down below the threshold, end the line. You end up with a whole bunch of lines. Then adjust the threshold again, change the angle, and repeat this process. I find that about four or five layers gives pretty good results, depending on your resolution. Of course, the process is rather slow because this makes a whole lot of lines. So, in just a second here, I'm going to speed up the video for you. Just be patient. Well, you can see, even in fast motion, this takes a long time. Feel free to fast forward if you want, or you can watch it, it only takes a couple minutes. It's almost done, here we are coming to the end. And it's finished. Let's take a look at it. Come on, focus, focus. Ah, uh, it's not going to focus. Well, you can see all the details for this build and get the code on the project page linked below once I get it written up. Here's some other pictures I've drawn with it. And of course, I find a good way to test the accuracy and reliability of these pen plotters is by drawing something as small and complex as I can, like this little Hilbert curve. Hilbert curve? Space filling curve? Yes.
And I'm sure the camera is not going to pick up the detail here. You can see that somewhere along the line, I think it shifted by some small fraction of a millimeter. So there are some... Oh, there it is. That's much better. Those are centimeters, of course. Thank you for watching.